This is Cotman Warhol, scene one, take 76. Well, the first time I met Andy Warhol was in 1966, but it started in Central Park, having some red wine and, a, and some dope with a buddy of mine from the University of Kansas. And we decided to go to the Leo Castelli Gallery and see the Warhol show. Around the room was floating all these silver-coated, plastic-covered, helium-filled pillowcases, in my mind, which I think was called Clouds. I'm not sure about the title of the show. And they were floating around the room. And in, the, in a pile on the, in the side were all the Brillo boxes stacked up. And then we started noticing the people in the room, or I did. And it was primarily groupy, young groupy kids in really totally New York style clothing and regalia, railroad jeans, polka dot shirts, hairdos, all the stuff. And then there was an older group, and it was people like Dine, Oldenburg, Rosenquist, uh, Lichtenstein, all, all the pop artists were there. Pyburn had a kind of a Beatles haircut, and he had dark hair, and I was kind of, I had a goatee, a little thinner than now. And uh, we were both 66, I was uh, 19 years old. Oh, and Warhol, I mean, uh, Pyburn was dressed in like a Levi, or le no, a leather coat, and I had like on a down jacket. And so we kind of looked like we were off, off the farm compared to all these other folks. While we're looking around, Warhol, boys, boys, in that whispery, breathy voice that War only Warhol had, boys, could you, and then he invited us over to be as a photo backdrop for a photo op that he wanted to have taken of himself with his floaters. And while we were on our way over there to get behind him, Rauschenberg had a yardstick and was poking around these cloud things and popped one and just started cackling like crazy, like laughing like a maniac. And then the whole crowd, all the old artists started laughing, everybody. But he asked us to be in it, so we were. The photograph turned out to be in Gallery Magazine. I have an issue of it somewhere. I don't know if it's here or in the States somewhere. And uh, it's there, and there we are, back as young people, right behind Andy. As a thank you, Andy invited us to come to his, his event, his experience, the next night at St. Mark's Cathedral down in the East Village. We got there, and there was, a, there was maybe, we were one or two of 40 people at most, little tables sitting around, and Warhol had all of his movies going. The guy eating the egg, the guy getting drunk, the Empire State. And then a band came out on the stage at St. Mark's. And that was, this was a hit. And, and I had never heard of them. They were called the Velvet Underground. And, and Nico was their lead singer. And Lou Reed was the main guitar player. And Lou started snapping a neon tape whip across the stage at Nico while she's singing. And the band played the song Heroin, which blew our minds. To me, this was like a spaceship landing in the backyard. And Warhol waved at us up in the balcony, walking around, and we waved back. And while that event was happening on stage, Allen Ginsberg, who we knew from Lawrence, because he always used to drive across the country on his way to the bookstore in, in Frisco or wherever, and he came over and kept inviting me to dance inviting me to dance, and finally I said, oh, fuck it, let's dance. And that's that story of the Velvet Underground, Allen Ginsberg, Andy Warhol. And Andy's, thank you. Black, dark hair, and... I, leather don't, jacket. Don't, don't worry about his outfit. Just, just tell the, the the good part. Oh, okay. Okay, yeah. And everybody around him was in the New York City look, fashion. Oh, uh, well, I don't know. I would, you know, I would think about that one because that's, you know, it's kind of. Believe they were, they were called, called clouds. 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 Yeah. 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 I told you that before. Yeah. Yeah. And. 
So you was the show that? called Clouds or each one individually? I think individually they were called Clouds, but I, you know, I, I mentioned that before. 